Shalom, peace, love, and light to the tribe. It's your boy, Chief Fuqua. You already know we align with the divine every time we make a video. So, this right here is the power of visualization. Now, you're probably sleeping on the power of your own visualization, a little bit, a little bit of visualization and imagination. You probably are. So, one thing that we have to understand about visualization is this is probably the one of the most powerful practices you can do when you do mindful visualization, mindful meditations, and visualize certain things, right? Because one thing that we also have to understand is that whenever we try to manifest something and bring it into our reality, right, we have to be able to visualize these things first. And visualization is more than just being able to see what it is. It's actually being able to comprehend, right, what it is in the space around it, in the distance, right, that it takes in order for you to actually come into what it is that it is that you're visualizing okay so what do i mean by that so let's say you want to visualize your you want to manifest a new car right of course you would have to visualize the type of car, the car that you want or visualize the car right it goes deeper than just being a car right it'll be the color of the car it'll be the smell of the car it'll be the mileage on the car it'll be um the model of the car it'll be the year of the car you have to visualize all these things and then you have to visualize yourself behind the car and driving the car because if you can't actually see yourself driving this thing you feel me then you set yourself up for failure right so when it comes to visualization right there was a study done in the early 2000s where they made two groups of people right they made two groups and they did studies on both these groups one of the group um, had a workout regimen that they had them do every single day. It was a routine. And then they had a group of people who uh, that meditated on the exact same workout that these people who were working out actually did. And the people who did the meditation actually got better results than the people who literally worked out and physically did the actual work, right? So you might question, right? Like, why does the people who just think about what it is or think about the workout literally get better results and this is because when you make things into a pattern of actually visualizing what it is that you want your brain is bro your brain is so fucking powerful it doesn't it's not able your subconscious mind isn't able to distinguish the difference between you actually just imagining something or you actually being there and experiencing something right so the people who were meditating on working out were probably meditating on every single rep how hard it was to actually do this and they probably became stronger just by increasing their mental capabilities of what it is that they were doing so don't sleep on the power of visualization okay you are a very strong being most likely you might be a star seed an indigo a crystal being you feel me we all these things but i'm saying like y'all in specific have a very brad very broad imagination okay and this is where the majority of your power comes from because if you don't have a strong imagination if you can't um if you can't get yourself out of these fucking magic squares that the um government will put you in mentally right and thinking that you can't um go against the um the accepted whatever the fuck it is that's accepted by society then your visualization powers are going to be very, very, very suppressed. And you're not going to be able to tap into who you truly are and tap into the actual power that exists within you because for the first part, you just don't have the imagination to do it. You have to purify your mind and your thoughts, okay? And tap into your childlike mind, right? Because this is your true self. You was in your most truest state when you were a child, when you were a baby, when you could imagine things that no other person could imagine, right? And it still be pure in thought, right? So... Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that once you begin to tap in to the power of visualization, the, t the power of stepping into your actual thoughts that you created, you a powerful motherfucker. Anyways, it's been your boy, Chief Fuko. You already know how I come, and I'm out.